Hi guys, Panther Gaming right here right now, bringing you the first video of a 10 video series called Paths Fundamentals. In this video, we'll discuss early game boards and basically how you should play stage two. So there's actually just two simple options. You're either playing a strong board and you want a win streak, or you're playing a weak board and you want a loss streak. I know it's very simple, but let's go through it together. So let's go through strong boards first and win streaking. If you want to go for a strong board and you want to win streak, you should have at least one two star unit with a full item. Now, if the two star unit is a frontline unit, it's way better. And if you manage to put the item on the two star frontline unit, it's almost like a three star unit. Think of uh, an Alawi with a stone plate. Now, that's going to be really hard to kill, and that's going to buy your whole team a lot of time to actually put out as much damage as needed especially on stage two. Now the question of whether you should pre-level on one four, it's very simple. As a rule of thumb, if you don't have any two star one costs, you should probably not pre-level so that you can find your pairs and you can upgrade your one costs. Now, if you already do have two star one costs, then perhaps you can pre-level and hope to find a particular three cost. As you'll see later, when I show you some early game boards, if you, for example, have a two-star brand, pre-leveling is quite valuable because it gives you odds of being able to find a Leona for Debonair and Vex and Malzahar for Arcanist. And the ultimate question is whether you should pre-level on 1-4 or even level up on 2-1 is, are you going to be able to win? And if you're not going to be able to win, if you don't have any two star one cost, or if you don't have any full item that actually helps your board, then possibly consider not leveling and loss streaking instead. Now, let me show you some win streak boards. I think a really good board is Ilawi, Sejuani, Caitlyn, and Ash. For example, that gives you bruisers, it gives you snipers, it gives you enforcers. Now here are just some items I wanted to, to show you, like a Bramble Vest or Redemption or Stone Plate, possibly a Sunfire Cape, or even a Warmogs. It's not, it's not the best on Ilawi. But if you have a two-star Ilawi and you have any of these items on her, she's going to help you stay alive. Like, she's going to help the board stay alive a lot longer, and she's going to let your Caitlyn put out a lot of damage. And with Ilawi, you want to play another Bruiser. Now, the reason I want to have items on Caitlyn is because most likely Caitlyn's two-star, and two-star Caitlyn does a lot more damage than one-star Ash. Same reasoning is behind putting frontline items on Ilawi because most likely she's going to be two star before you can find two star Rexai or two star Sejuani. Now, how this works, you either have bruisers and snipers or you can read this as bodyguards and snipers. If you have bodyguards and snipers, well, possibly if you have uh, Darius and Ash, then you just want to add Zyra for Syndicate to have even more frontline. And then Darius two star with some tank items and the Syndicate buff, even without bodyguards, is a reasonable tank and then you can have caitlin dishing out damage and later when you find two star ash and you find an mf you can just sell off the caitlin move the items onto ash and play the mf but while caitlin is two star ash is one star you should probably have more your more of your items your damage items on caitlin now alternatively you can play assassins and assassins work relatively well with bruisers or bodyguards and the items i have here um Rageblade and IE, I think, are pretty decent on Nocturne and Twitch. Uh, Spear of Shojin is not the best, but it can work as well. I'm just I'm just trying to show you some items. So you want to go for two Bruiser and two Sniper or two Bodyguard and two, two Assassin or any combination of these, these units. Frontline plus Backline. And you either have some Tank items or Damage items. Now, if you have two-star Ilawi, two-star Twitch or two-star Darius and two-star Caitlyn, you're probably going to be able to win streak. So you should level up, hopefully have another unit to add and be strong enough. And another thing I want to mention is you should always consider what you want to add once you level up. So like this is still stage two, but for example, if you're going from level four to level five, you should keep the unit you want to play on your bench and be ready to play it as soon as you hit level five. Now, another board that I think is really strong is the AP board. 
And that's the board I, I discussed earlier, is a brand. And brand, you can play either with uh, Debonairs. You, ha you might have to play like Talon and Syndra. Hopefully you find a Leona though. And you need to find a Swain as well for your tank. Uh, Vex is a, a really good tank as well, but Swain is more likely. So you, you want to have your Swain and Brand as your Arcanist, and then you just have two more Debonairs. Possibly you can have two more Arcanist, but that's not super likely. And again, you want to have good brand items. So like a blue buff, jewel gauntlet, even a hex gunblade to, to heal up your other units. And then Swain is your standard tank. And Swain is one of the one of the best tanks in the in the early game because he has healing. And with the Arcanist buff, he actually does a bit more damage and he heals himself a bit more. Now, the third win streak board I want to mention is Innovator. So you have your, your standard package, Singed, Ezreal, and Zillion. And the reason I put all these items on Camille is because I think Camille is a way better tank than Singed. So if you manage to find two-star Camille and you have a two-star Camille, two-star Ez, or even like Camille and Singed two-star and, and you have the innovation bug, I think it's a really strong board to win streak with. And uh, you should probably consider leveling aggressively with this board so that you can find an Echo soon enough because Echo is now an innovator and a scrap. Alternatively, you can just add a, a Ziggs or a Blitzcrank to get that scrap bonus going. If you have an extra component or if you have an item you don't want to make, so you can just put a scrap component on Ezreal and utilize that, or possibly you put it on Blitz or Ziggs if you have a, a belt or rod for that juicy Morello on Echo. Now, just, just to mention two OP units, I think Cassadin is one of the strongest units right now because... Cassadin is a protector. Yeah, I'm not kidding. Cassadin retained his protector buff, but he doesn't need any protectors to activate it. So Cassadin creates a shield and has the highest HP of any one cost. So he is by far the best without any synergy. So best sprinkle unit. And Swain is amazing as well, especially if you find two-star Swain. Like if you have any of these units at two-star, you should probably play them on stage two. Two-star Swain is a beast of a tank. Cassadin is, is right up there with Swain. I played Cassadin, I think, until stage four as my as my tank. And he actually puts in a lot of work with like a stone plate and redemption. He's just really, really hard to kill, which buys a lot of time for my backline to put up a lot of DPS. So just, just to quickly go over how you should play the, the early game if you're win streaking, you should level on 4-1. You should level to four on 2-1, or sorry, or on 1-4. You can pre-level if you have a strong enough board. You should probably level to five on two five after carousel. And if you can make another item, that's amazing. And then you should scout and position to make sure that you win. And you should consider leveling to six on two six. If you are very likely to win by leveling, if you have a good unit to add. And if there's like another guy who has a full streak, because by breaking his streak, it costs him a lot of gold. Like he's not gonna make three gold on two six. He's not gonna make three gold on two seven. While well, you're gonna make six gold back by maintaining your streak plus the one gold for winning so it's not great dropping down to zero gold but the amount of gold you get by maintaining your streak is always worth it now the alternative to starting out the game on stage two if you cannot win streak is lost streaking and if you're playing a weak board something like this it, at least you have a uh, like you can play poppy instead of lulu or you can play Vex instead of Lulu, like if you find something. But like the the key thing, the most important thing here is playing three Yordles and maybe a Scrap. So whatever you can find, but if you find three Yordles, it really helps your economy. And you can easily two-star your Yordles and maybe you don't have like a full loss streak. If once you start finding Yordles, you can upgrade them and kind of have like a mixed streak. But ideally, you're, you'll be weak enough and you won't make any items that you can get a full loss streak. And then there's obviously um, the Merc board. With Mercs, you just want to put in three Mercs and make sure you lose because the more losses you get early, the like the fewer HP losses you take and the losses build up your chest. Now, the important thing, especially with Mercs, but with any kind of loss streak board, is you just want to try to kill a unit, but you don't want to win. So... The same thing applies as to when you're win streaking. You still have you still have to scout and position to make sure that you're weaker than anyone else. Like after the carousel on two five and two six, you probably don't want to make any items. 
and you want to make sure that you position so that you hopefully kill a unit, but at the same time, you don't want to win. So that's the most important objective, not winning. And you can possibly level to two to five onto seven if you're scared of losing to Krugs. Now, just to, to recap, uh, you want to play strong boards and a win streak if you can do that. And to be able to do that, you need to have at least one, if not two, two stars, and you got to have at least one decent item. If you have a weak board, you should aim to lost streak because the gold you get from the lost streak, if you don't dip below like 60 HP, if you stay around like 70 HP, I think that's healthy enough. But the gold you get from your lost streak is amazing. And uh, you can recover on 3-2 in the mid game, but that's for the next video. You also want to make items that you're happy with. So you got to consider the carousel components you picked up. So like if you pick up a cloak and then you get dropped a glove and you make a QSS, that could be your only glove for the game. Or maybe if you're lucky, you get one more glove. So perhaps QSS is not the best in that regard. But if you start with a, with a, with a glove and then you make a QSS, you're still likely to get another glove. So, so you're fine. So just consider the items you're happy with. Just make them. Uh, I, I looked at the item list and there really aren't that many bad items like there aren't any items you're like oh shit i have this item i can't play it so we just make items you're familiar with and try to use them later for your mid game and your late game comps but the important thing is uh make any item you can play and also consider aura items like chalice and zeke's and locket because i think they're pretty strong in the early and mid game and they can help you preserve hp and possibly even get a good win streak going and importantly, position to win or to lose. If you want to con continue on your on your win streak or loss streak, you got to make sure that your units either output enough damage to win or your key units that can put out a lot of damage die early on into the so that you guarantee your loss streak. And a disclaimer, I know I need to put this here. Your early game board is just your early game board. Yeah, just keep that in mind. Whatever you play on stage two, does not correlate with what you have to play on stage three. It, I mean, there are probably going to be some some overlaps, but it's definitely not what you're playing on stage four and stage five. So just play whatever the game gives you, and then later on during the game, you figure out what your late game comp is going to be. So don't grief yourself by just sticking with units you want to play in your late game comp. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'll be happy if you join my Discord if you want to get coaching or additional resources. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Path of Gaming out.